Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to all my students. So right now we are topic t topic three sequences and series for this semester in our syllabus and we look into the check lecture of one of three sequences and series. Okay, let's look at the definition and example of sequences and series uh, as a beginning of our discussion for this topic. <coughs> okay, so. Right n term of simple sequences and series from the n term uh, and also the sum of the formula. So, which I think that all of you have met with this formula before, okay, especially for these two, okay. And we're going to look and discuss for this question again. Uh, this we call this top formula again as a revision. So, just take a look at these numbers. We have 4, 2, 8, 6, and 10. <clears throat> so, an example of we arrange from the uh, lowest to the highest numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And this is what you call finite sequence. Finite means that, okay, it end up that the, series, the sequence is end up with the one numbers here. And when we add all the numbers, and we call it finite series. So the, the the reason that we call it finite because it has the last final term, which is 10 here and here. <clears throat> okay, now 1, 3, 5, and 7 in finite sequence and also in finite series. Why? Because the now we call the symbol of dot 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 triple dots here shows that it has no end okay one three five seven nine eleven thirteen fifteen and so on endless so it is what we call the infinite sequence and also series which is, has no last term <coughs> find the end term of the sequence of this okay so now example one we got 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. So let's say 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. We consider this as a first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and fifth term. So now with I uh, label it at 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16 with term number 1, sec first term, second term, third, fourth, and fifth term. So, T1 equal to 4. Okay, it might be we can think of something formula that suits to all the numbers here. Let's say 3 times 1 plus 1. 3 times 1 equal to 1 plus 1 equal to 4. So let's try with the second one here. 3 times 2 equal to 6 plus 1 equal to 7. Yes. The third term, 3 times 3 equal to 9 plus 1 equal to 10. T4, 3 times 4 equal to 12 plus 1 equal to 13. Yes, that's good. T5, okay, you try just by yourself and prove that that's the, the fifth term is equal to 16. Okay, I'm sorry for this one here. It's supposedly that 3n plus 1. Find the n term of the series of this. Okay, so now the first term equal to 5. Second term equal to 11. The third term is 21. The fourth term equal to 35. So let's try now with T1 equal to. Uh, let me think of something. Something like 2 times 1 square plus 3. 
1 squared is 1 times 2 equal to 2 plus 3 equal to 5. Okay, the first trial, get it correct. T2, 2 times 2 squared plus 3. 2 squared equal to 4 plus times 2 equal to 8 and plus 3 equal to 11. What about T3? 2, 3 squared plus 3. 3 squared equal to 9. 9 times 2 equal to 11, 18 plus 3 equal to 21. Okay. So, 41 is correct. is 5. T2, 11. T3 is 21. So, let's try the, the last final one here. 2, 4 squared plus 3. 4 squared equal to 16 times 2 is 32 plus 3. 35. There you go. Okay, so now <coughs> the formula of this is Tn equal to 2n square plus 3. Okay, you may think of something that suits to all the list of the numbers, then come up in general of Tn, the, the formula of the n term. So, arithmetic sequence with the first term of A and the common difference of D is the form of, okay, class. A we consider as the first term. This is the second term, third term, and fourth term. So now, with first term or term number 1, A plus 0, D, second term, the third term, fourth term, and so on until we generalize this as the n term equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied with d. The n term is given by them. <coughs> okay, the 11 term of arithmetic sequence is 52 and 19 term is 92. It's given that. So now, Solution. Let's extract the. F Let's finally take all the information that given in this question here, where the eleven term equal to fifty two, equation one. And the nineteen term equal to ninety two. Okay. So, 11 term means that come up with A plus 11 minus 1, D equal to 52, equation 1. And A plus 19 minus 1, D equal to 92, equation 2. Okay, now, this is A plus 11 minus 1 is 10d equal to 52, equation 1, and a plus 19 minus 1 is 18d equal to 92, equation 2. So then, uh, from equation 1 and equation 2, we can come up with a simultaneous equation to find the value of a and d. So let's make this one as uh, equation 1 minus equation 2. A plus 10D equal to 52. And A plus 18D equal to 92. So A minus A equal to 0. 10 minus 18, negative 8D. And 52 minus 92 equal to negative 40. So then D equal to negative 40 divided by negative 8 equal to 5. Substitute D equal to 5 into equation 1 or equation 2, either one. So A plus 10D equal to 52. 10 times 5 equal to 50. Then A equal to 50 minus 52 minus 50. Then A equal to 2. Okay, so uh, what about what about thousand term? T thousand. 
equal to a equal to 2 plus 1000 minus 1 and d equal to 5 and it is 4997 there you go okay so I'm going back to the place then here so the n term of sequence of this uh, 4n plus 5 divided by 12 identify that the sequence is an arithmetic sequence so now let's find out the solution of this okay so now with tn equal to okay look at this one here now it is 4n plus 5 divided by 12 it's given here now and then let's say tn minus 1 means that here the term of n we substitute with n minus 1 plus 5 divided by 12 which is 4 times n 4n 4, 4 times negative 1 minus 4 plus 5 divided by 12 so then 4n negative 4 plus 5 plus 1 divided by 12 so now let's find out whether tn minus tn minus 1 what's going to happen then okay the term of n the n term which is 4n plus 5 divided by 12 minus tn minus 1 the n minus 1 term which is 4n plus 1 divided by 12 okay the denominator are equal now so then we come up with 4n plus 5 negative times 4n minus 4n negative times 1 minus 1 divided by 12 4n minus 4n 5 minus 1 equal to 4 over 12 or 1 over 3 so since that the n term minus n minus 1 term is a, give you the finance uh, giving you as a, as a constant here therefore the sequence therefore the sequence is an arithmetic sequence okay find the number of term between 100 and 500 that are divisible by 7 okay so let's think of numbers between 100 and 500 that are divisible by 7 100 divided by 7 is not going to give you a round figure 101 nope Okay, 101, maybe nope. 102, nope. Okay, let's we'll try using your calculator. And it begin with 105. Okay, just try. 105 divided by 7. And then the next is 112. And until the last final numbers term that uh, be below 500, which is divisible by 7, which is four nine seven okay so meaning here the first term or a equal to one o five and the difference is one one two minus one o five so then the difference between the second term with the third term is seven so d equal to seven and the tn the n term <coughs> is four nine seven so now 
find the number of terms between 100 and 500. We read the question again. So it begins with 105 and the last final term with 497. So now the TN is 497 equal to A, which is 105 plus N minus 1 and D equal to 7. Okay, you may use your calculator or we count it one by one here. 105 plus N plus N times 7, which is 7N and minus 7 equal to and then N equal to 57. Meaning the numbers that are between 100 and 500 that divisible by 7, it begins with 105 and then 112 and so on until the last final term here is 497. So how many numbers that are divisible by 7 between 100 and 500? There are 57 of them. Sum of a final arithmetic series. Okay, the summation of arithmetic series here. You know. <coughs> okay, you may refer to your handout. So the summation of all the first term, second term, the third until the end term here. So reverse the order of addition. So then the summation of n term. equal to n divided by 2 multiplied with 2a plus multiply multiplication of n minus 1 multiplied with d so then let the last term of l equal to a plus n minus 1d and it becomes n over 2 multiplied with a plus l so l will be the last term so in arithmetic sequence the 10th term is 3 and the sum of the first 6, six, uh, six terms is 76.5. Find the first term and the common difference and the number of terms we take so that sum is equal to C. Okay, in this example here, the 10th term is 3 and the sum of the first 6 term is 76.5. Okay. This is information given to us then. So then, the 10th term equal to 3. So, A plus 3 minus 1 equal to 2. D equal to 3. Oh, the 9th term, 10 minus, 1 equal to, 10 minus 1 equal to 9. A plus 9. D equal to 3. Equation. Then next, summation of 6 term equal to 76.5. So then, this is 6 over 2, 2a plus the 6, okay, the 6 term, so n minus 1, 6 minus 1 equal to 5d equal to 76.5. So now, 6 divided by 2 equal to 3. 3 times 2 equal to 6a plus 3 times 5 is 15d equal to 76.5. Okay, class. We have, we got two equations here right now. Equation 2. So let's make this one from equation 1. Let's make this one a equal to 3. And then 9d bring to the other side become negative minus 9d. Equation 3. So then substitute equation 3 of this a into this a. So 6 a equal to 3 minus 9d plus 
15D equal to 76.5. 1854D plus 15D equal to 76.5. Then come up with negative 39D equal to negative 39D equal to 58.5. So then D equal to negative 1.5. So then substitute D into equation 1 or 2 or 3, either one. Okay, let's say substitute this D here. So then A equal to 3 minus 9 times negative 1.5. Then finally get A equal to 16.5. Five. Now, uh, we already got a value, a value of A and D here now. Okay, so now, the question of B, find the sum numbers of, uh, find the number of third be taken so that the sum equal to zero so make it as an s n equal to n over 2 2 a which is a is over 16.5 2 a plus n minus 1 and d is negative 1.5 And we get here is N33 minus 3 over 2 multiplied with N minus 1, which is equal to 0 here. And then N66 minus 3N. Sixty six minus three N plus three equal to zero, then N sixty nine minus three N equal to zero, then N is not equal to zero, and N equal to n equal to 23. I'm sorry for this sign. Okay, might be a problem with the board here. It's okay. So relationship between the n term and the s and the summation of the until n term. So the summation of all this is n minus 1. And then, okay. As n minus 1 means that the summation from the first term, second term, third, until the n minus 1, until here, n minus 1 term. So the summation until n minus 1. And the next is the summation until the n term of Sn. So as n minus 1 <coughs> plus Tn equal to summation until, until n, so then the summation of the n term is Sn minus Sn minus 1. Okay. And please make sure, okay, please uh, be careful with this. That S, the term of summation until n minus 1 is not equal to L summation until n term n minus 1. This. Okay, now. The sum of the first n term of arithmetic series is given by this. Find the expression of n term and the common difference. And the sum of the 11th term to the 20th term. Okay, now. For A. Given that Sn equal to 2n plus n squared. 
and the Tn equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. So then, it is 2n plus n square. 2n plus n square minus, okay, now, this is 2n minus 1 plus n minus 1 square. So expand this and you get then 2n plus n square minus 2n negative 2 times negative 1 plus 2 and then negative okay this one here is going to give you minus negative n minus 1 square is negative n square plus 2n minus 1 then it gives you 2n plus 1 okay then next to find the difference of this the n term minus the n term n minus 1 term so it is now with 2n plus 1 minus 2n minus 1 plus 1 then you get 2n plus 1 okay negative 2 times n minus 2n negative 2 times negative 1 negative negative positive 2 plus 1 equal to plus 1 2n minus 2n and 1 plus 1 equal to 2. okay so this is uh, we call the we have found out the first which is n term 2n plus 1 and the difference of the expression here okay so now we have solved the first question we find that the n term and also the common difference so let's continue with the second question now uh, what is the, the next question of b the sum of the 11th term to the 20th term okay now class uh the summation of s n it all begin with the first term. Okay, please do remember this. S n it begin with the first term, second term, and until the n term. So, uh, if you like to find out the summation of, uh, we call the summation of eleven term until twentieth term. We cannot simply come up with S11 plus S20. This is incorrect. So, what can we do here now is make it as an S20 minus S10. Okay. So, now, let's make this one as an 2 times 20 plus 20 square minus 2 times 10 plus 10 square so equal to 440 minus 120 equal to 320 so that's all for today for the lecture of one lecture one of three for this topic of sequence and series and we'll meet again in next uh, the next uh, top subtopic of uh, sequence and series lecture two of three next time thank you very much assalamualaikum and have a nice day